Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent and if you do like this channel don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button I am so happy to have you all here with me today as we go through some very very exciting news Things that are happening at the moment in the in the XRP world in the XRP community and check this out to kick off the video the 2021 cross-border payments 100 FXC intelligence uh, committee um, nominated the top 100 which are all part of the cross-border payments of 2021 which is so exciting and obviously you know liquidity is something that we mention a lot and we speak a lot about you know cross-border solution that XRP offers around the world and so it's really really important to see this because in the crypto space you got only two which is Ripple and Stella and we know Stella is more of the traditional um, B2C business but Ripple is B2B. B2B stands for business to business. And what's really interesting here about this particular chart is that a lot of the XRP uh, businesses that XRP already does business with, Ripple does business with, are on here as well. So really, really exciting to see the community and the world, um, you know, nominate Ripple as one of the cross-border payment systems and especially in the crypto space. Now, let's go through a little bit on, you know, what's happening right now. There's been a lot of talk lately and obviously when the market dips a little bit, we're, oh, we're in a bear mode, oh, the whole world's crashing down, 2017 is happening again. Relax, relax, we're good, we're good, this is a correction. I'm going to explain to you and what's going to happen and the, the pattern that XRP chart is forming right now is very similar to 2017. And so our time is coming, but you just got to be a little bit patient when the market is down a little bit. And the most important word in the crypto universe when it comes to trading crypto, holding crypto is hold, 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 hold. So this is what you can see here about what's happening between XRP and Bitcoin. As we know, this is a falling wedge. It's right on track. Once we hit that end of that triangle, boom, we're going straight up to, to the sky. It's a falling wedge pattern and a very, very popular bullish pattern. So you're just gonna be you're just gonna be a little bit patient because I think it's gonna be about another week, week and a half, maybe even two weeks. But just hold and your time is coming. Now I really do see BTC and XRP as this. I cannot explain it better in better words. You know, like every, it, you know, BTC has flourished. It's been around now for, for obviously quite some time. But XRP and everything that's just in the background and everything that's just there, just waiting to be unleashed from a fundamental, from a transaction speed, from all other things. So just, you know, it's really important. You know, some of you have been patient for four years. So you know, I mean, once you've waited four, you could wait a couple more weeks. But some of you have just gotten into XRP for whatever reason, maybe me, maybe another place, maybe TikTok, wherever. But you decided that maybe this thing could be the one. Now, the thing about great opportunities and great businesses is that they are often seen as a threat at the beginning. Um, I know Amazon back in the days used to get hammered with lawsuits and you know things have not gone right and this thing is going to crash and burn. Look at them now. The same thing happened with Tesla. You know the SEC lawsuit before the massive you know 800% rise in 2020. So it is often that great things and people that are trying to accomplish big goals are often looked as crazy lunatics initially. So just hold and, and you know what what what's in the bag and everything that XRP and Ripple are building is extremely solid. So just be mindful of that. Now the SEC has come out um, in relation to the Chris Larton letter to court, and now they're asking for some things now as well. So I'll put the link in the bio uh, in the comment section about this and what they're asking for and some of the information that they're asking from, from Ripple. So it's really, really interesting. Now, going back to charts, what I wanna show you today is this particular chart. So what you see, what you see here, the one that's already that was already built and then the green candle has shot up to the sky, that particular one was 2017, 2018, when the big rise happened of XRP and it shot overnight. The blue chart is what we're doing right now. And man, they look so similar. They look so, so similar. Now we know that the past isn't a guarantee of what's gonna happen in the future, but these charts and the way that these things are falling into place, 
there is a very strong chance that within the next couple of weeks, XRP could go down quite a bit more to the point where I'm saying that we could maybe even see 35 cents, 25 cents. Just remember this chart if that day happens. I'm not I'm not financial advisor, this isn't financial advice, but what I'm telling you is that once the final dip happens, it will rise, go back down, rise, go back down, and then overnight, boom, and you won't even catch it. And the important thing is to hold. Like, if it goes down to 35, you've had someone here today tell you, listen, it might go to 35, but don't worry, we're going back up. So just be mindful of that. I know that it's... Uh, not the best feeling in the world when you see things like this fall so much and especially going into the 30s. But I'm telling you right now because it's really, really important for you to know and knowledge is power in this game. So this is again the XRP BTC on a one daily chart. And again, you can see here how many more days we've got to go until we get right to the end of the, of the falling wedge. So I reckon, you know, we've got at least, at least another two weeks where we're gonna see the price go up, down, prior down, and then once we get out of the falling wedge, boom, we're gonna go straight to the top. Another cool thing that's happened is the SBI is offering shareholders options of getting XRP as a reward for second year. So that's really, really cool to see um, SBI support of XRP in a sign of digital tokens continued strong fan base in Japan. So. Japan, UK are massive fans of XRP and they've come out on multiple occasions to say that it is not a security. We don't understand what the SEC in America are on about. This thing is awesome. So really, really cool to see that. And this was the final thing that I wanted to mention was the SEC wants eight years of personal financial records from Ripple executives. And so that's what they've come out and asked for. But then what Ripple has asked from the SEC hasn't been provided. So really, really interesting how this is all developing. Um, extremely bullish. All the charts, all the signals, all the fundamentals are there. Hold. And like I said, the chart, the most important chart that I want you to remember out of this video today is this particular chart. And if you do think that we are still in a bull run, I want two things from you. I want to know where you're from and I want to know what's your price prediction in the comments. But as always, thank you so, so very much for the support and the fan base and everything that you guys do and all the comments and interactions. Really, really appreciate every single one of you. I just want to give a quick shout out at the end of the video to my friend at Futuro Avenue who have provided me with an amazing mic to continue this channel and to continue to grow and to continue to provide extreme valuable to you. I know some of you in the comments have mentioned that the sound quality was poor and I want to thank Futuro Avenue for providing me this awesome mic and I hope you guys can see the difference. Thank you. See you next time.